Hello, you're listening to Hugo Talks. Greta Thunberg turned up in The Guardian yesterday and it looks like she has joined the Black Goo Club. And it's also another instalment of the Peekaboo Club, the One Eye Symbolism. So we've got two symbols for the price of one here, a bargain. So this is a trend uh, we've seen recently, well, we've seen for the last, what, 10 years, loads of images of black goo. We've seen it coming out of celebrities, pop stars. We've seen it in movies. There's been a lot of it, black liquid, black goo. A lot of the time coming out of their face, coming out of their eyes, out of their nose. Lady Gaga, perfume advert, Billie Eilish in that video where the black goo's coming out of her eyes constantly. We've got Madonna, same image, same symbology. Rihanna, tattooing some bloke, poor bloke stuck in a chair where black goo starts coming out of his nose. We've got the movies uh, Prometheus and Alien Covenant. We've got, uh, what else was there? There's all sorts of things. There's all sorts of stuff. I can't remember it all now. But there has been, there has been tons of these images. And some people suggest, you know, I've said, is it a symbol of evil, a symbol of possession? Some have a more scientific explanation for it. Some have suggested that it's a symbol of transformation, of going into a, a new age. I can remember Lady Gaga doing an interview where she was talking about her new perfume, uh, which is black. And she was talking about the video and saying that this was to represent a new dawn of humanity or something like that. Some say it's a reference to graphene oxide and to something planned for the future. But whatever it is, there is no doubt that this is a recurring theme in Hollywood, in the movies, and seen on the so-called uh, celebrities that are supposed to influence the public. We've also talked about the constant one-eye symbolism, and here in this article with Greta Thunberg, we see both. So this image online gets Two responses. Usually some people may say, oh, symbolism will be their downfall. Or the other response is someone accusing those who say that of wearing a tinfoil hat and so on. You know, there isn't, this isn't the first time we have seen Greta doing the one-eye symbolism either. Is it all just a coincidence? Do you really think so? Greta, who appeared out of nowhere a few years ago, 2018, she was launched into the spotlight out of nowhere. She was only 15 years old at the time. And before you could say anything, she was speaking at the United Nations and the World Economic Forum. That's amazing, isn't it? That a 15 year old can just appear on the world stage and all of a sudden be speaking at the United Nations. I mean, can you imagine that happening to you when you were 15 years old? Can you imagine that happening to your 15 year old kid? I don't think so. And we're expected to believe that this was all, this all happened completely by accident. It just happened randomly. What do you reckon? Do you think it's possible? No, of course it isn't. All of a sudden be thrust into the spotlight and be speaking on a world stage at the United Nations, meeting world leaders and royalty? No, no, it's not gonna happen. She's had film crews following her since day one, as if somehow, you know, it was all planned all along. Her family tell you a lot, okay? Now look at her mother. Her mother is an opera singer, an actress, goes by the name of Malina Ehrman, who once performed for Sweden in the Eurovision Song Contest. Her father, Svant Thunberg, is an actor and film producer. Her grandfather, Olof Thunberg, was also an actor and producer. He has an extensive filmography. He did loads of voices in Disney movies. He also directed for television. Her grandmother, Mona Anderson, was also, oh, was an actor as well. Are you picking up what the family's chosen profession is yet? And Mona, the grandmother, is also related distantly related to some guy called Savant Arrhenius, who is strangely enough, he was the, the first scientist to predict that carbon emissions 
would lead to global warming. Got that information from one of Sheep Farm Studios' videos. I mean, come on. A family of actors related to a scientist who first came up with this whole climate warming idea. And people believe that Greta Thunberg just so happened at 15 years of age, going on strike at their local school, and then within months appears at the United Nations, speaking to world leaders, speaking on a world stage. Get out of here. You're crazy if you believe that. No difference to Extinction Rebellion. In fact, both of these entities appeared on the world stage, and it is very much a stage, both at the same time. Well, roughly around the same time. And both of them, amazingly, just suddenly appeared everywhere. Mainstream media, promotion, bombardment, everywhere, which is still continuing today. Greta is possibly the ultimate symbol of a false idol in today's society. It's just yet another false layer to the make-believe onion, which is the mainstream media. The mainstream media is just a very dense, fake, false onion. And it's literally layers and layers and layers of crap, all trying to create your perception of life, all trying to moderate and manipulate and get you to think in a certain way. And this is just another, yet another angle, yet another factor. All of these coming at you from the media at different angles, at different times, in order to manipulate your perception. As always, thanks for listening. Come and subscribe to the tribe at hugotalks.com, a place for like-minded souls who don't follow the fake stream media.